because now a Swedish scientist is proposing that mankind indeed needs to embrace cannibalism so that we can effectively fight back against global warming and greenhouse gas emissions. That's right, cannibalism. Oh, what a lovely future awaits our species, apparently. And joining me now with more on this real life version of Soylent Green is Mark Morano of Climate Depot Dot com. Welcome to the Ezra Event Show, Mark. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Always a pleasure. But Mark, first things first, uh, what do you prefer, white meat or dark? <laughs> well, I always like dark meat, but <laughs> with humans, I don't know. Unless I'm on a, a soccer team that crashes in the Andes, I am not eating humans. Uh, of course, I, no disrespect to the dead. That was a serious story. But, but there have been a few cases of human uh, cannibalism, including tribes in Papua New Guinea. And they had something called, I guess it's called the laughing death or different ailments that they've attributed to humans eating other humans. It's not, it's not a pretty thing to do. Uh, and there's really no reason to ever do it unless you're like that team in the 1970s that crashed in the Andes Mountains and were starving and were forced to resort to cannibalism to survive until they were rescued. I don't even know why anyone's talking about cannibalism. You know, I mean, the idea, Mark, you know, first of all, it, it's so outlandish. It, it, it's so far out there. It, it, it really does belong in the realm of science fiction almost. But um, you raise a good point. Um, has there been actual studies done about whether or not it is indeed healthy or uh, you know, or a person can get by on eating human flesh without any kind of uh, adverse side effects in the first place? Well, as I said, in, in the 1930s, the tribes in New Guinea were studied and there was this weird ailment uh, that they attributed at the time to uh, cannibalism. I can't imagine with all the pathogens. There have been other scientists who flirted with the idea, and one was even a hoax about talking about eating human feces because of global warming oh. and then the need to do it. Let's review why we're even here. The United Nations, in about 2007, issued a report saying that cow emissions were more dangerous to the climate than all of the transportation sector, planes, airplanes, uh, uh, boats and, uh, and vehicles combined. Cow emissions were killing the planet. Thus, our love of eating meat was destroying the climate. Then you go a few years further, top UN officials, uh, advisors were saying things like a successful UN climate treaty will skyrocket the price of meat. That's what we need to do. Then you had a whole eat insect movement that I don't know why I failed to catch on. You had people saying that eating insects was the only sustainable way forward. There's great source of protein. At one point, you even had uh, the actress, what's her name, married to Tom Cruise at one point, uh, who's uh, Nicole Kidman, doing a video for Vanity Fair about how yummy uh, insects were. And she actually compared it to eating a hairy nut. Uh, you know, is one of the things she said. I think she was eating crickets or some kind of weird animal. And so they started with, uh, you know, banning meat, making meat more expensive. Then they were trying to promote insects. Fast forward, then they were even flirting with eating feces. Now they're back to talking about eating, uh, you know, humans. Now, when I say back, Ted Turner warned of it in 2008. Paul Ehrlich, the overpopulation guru who's been wrong about every prediction, warned about eating humans in 2014. They're just trying to shock the public so that we'll take action on climate turn to central planning, give up liberty, give up free markets in order to save us from a climate calamity and apparently now cannibalism it'll save us from. So if we go socialist, hey, you don't need to eat humans. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.